So, um, thank you. So, um, <clears throat> say we're playing Z-Guard. So this is half butterfly to the shoulder wrench to the cutting arm bar. So I'm playing half butterfly and Dave's putting pressure and weight on the way. So we're, and we're, when we're playing um, half guard, Z-Guard, I mean, we're constantly stopping this arm. You know, Dave wants to cut and I'm here. All right. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take out the knee shield and I'm gonna put my big toe facing his belly. So I'm coming from a Z guard position with my big toe in here. My knee's still here. Dane's putting pressure on me. I still have that. But now I want him cross facing me. I'm not going to do nothing with this arm. And the minute he hugs my head, cool. I'm just coming around with my right arm and sort of hugging this over my shoulder. Now, if I'm not driving with my right ear into my right shoulder, Dane can pummel his hand over my head. And now he can free and start to pass my guard. So, the second, um, we're here, and I hug this, I'm pinching with my ear to my shoulder, try to pummel your hand over. Once I have that position, I'm hand to hand, and now I swim in the half butterfly, just sit up one second. So that foot that was here, just swims inside, okay? So, once we're here, foot swims inside, and my knee is in his far hip, that's the detail. This, he wants to pass to my right, so I have to constantly keep my right knee in his left hip. Once I have that half butterfly, now I'm sitting up. And now from this position, I'm going to start pushing on his knees for this cutting arm bar. Again, that's going to open cutting arm bar. It's not one of the most high percentage um, submissions, but it's going to open up other avenues. Um, So say I was playing Z guard. Again, this um, movement that we're doing will only be against someone who's pressuring into me. If he's setting up, I'm going to be doing something else. But if he's pressuring into me and I'm stopping him with the cross face and stuff, I'm just going to uncross my knee shield and put my big toe on his uh, my, sole of my foot on his hip with my big toe facing his opposite hip. My other knee is going to come in against the um, his left hip. And from that position now, as he tries to hug me, I just let him hug me. From that position, my right arm finds the elbow, and then I press with my ear to my shoulder so he can't re pummel his hand, then he get hand to hand. Now from there, I put in the half butterfly hook and physically kick up to the seated position. Once I'm here, now I'm going to start bringing my feet back, pushing on his knees, and looking for that cutting arm bar. Just get one more angle up with um, this huge bracket actually. The, the foot and the, and the knee and the hip. So, um, just from here is perfect. So, say from our knee shield, all right, and I'm playing the game, I'm constantly not letting him cross face me because he wants to turn his hip and back step. That would be his pathway um, to pass knee shield or one of the entrances. So, from our position, we're gonna bring our foot and put it on the inside of his hip, big toe inside, constantly working our knee into this forehip. I don't want this knee shallow. If that knee shallow, he can just turn his hip and he's passed, yeah. Whereas if this knee is protruding and he tries to back step, it's gonna be very, very, I can follow him and use that to sweep him. So those two things are feet position, perfect. So we're here, and my knee is in. Now from this position, he wants to lean into me, so I'm just making the frame as in half guard. But the detail is, when we're playing this sort of half butterfly, I want him cross-facing me. If he doesn't cross-face me, we'll be doing something else. Next time, I'll oh, let him cross-face me. First thing is, this arm comes up, and I just connect it. If I don't use my head pressure, he'll just weave his hand over, and now he can start pressing down, bring it back. So I'm just pinching, bring it over now. Now I get hand to hand. Then I swim in the butterfly hook. And now I'm flat on my back. If I'm on my right hip, I'm just gonna turn my hip so I'm flat on my back. See the way this knee's still protruding? I do not want him coming this way. And now we just kick up and we're here. See the way Frankie's turned his elbow down? We're gonna be looking at that because that's gonna give me the underhook. And I can start straight in the butterfly guard and all that stuff. That's why the cutting arm bar isn't really 
that high percentage. But once I get to this position here, okay, we're looking to push out on the knees and start to work that submission. Now, this is going to give us so many things from here. Open elbow and everything. Boom, you're straight into triangles. And all our things from that position, which we'll be looking at. Let's just get one more angle on that. So, just from half guard, knee sheet half guard, same stuff, especially if he's playing this heavy posture game. I'm going to turn my foot to the inside and bring my knee in. Again, I'm encouraging him to, to cross face me. And now I just get that arm control pinching. If he tries to be pommel, I'm not going to let him. And now from there, notice the line on my right hip and my right knee is past his left hip. Now I swim that in. Butt scoop and flat on my back. And then I just kick up and start pushing on the knee. Get him away from us. We need space on that sub. So that will start us off just on a pathway for that and it will open up other things. <laughs> 